All right, in this lesson, I'll introduce the is null and not null methods, and these are complementary methods, so they go hand in hand, and they can be called directly on a series within our data frame, and they're going to return different results depending on which method you call, but obviously they're going to check for the null status of every row and return true or false depending on whether that condition is met. So it's just another way that we can generate a Boolean series for the purposes of filtering later. Let's begin by executing our code to import our employee's CSV and store it in the DF variable. There I have my first three rows. Let's say I want to extract the rows from the data frame where the value in my team column is null, so that NAN value that we're all familiar with by now. As always, we begin by extracting that specific series. So our data frame is DF. In square brackets, I write the name of the column I want to pull out. There is my team series. There we have our NAN values uh, start to show up here. Whoops, right here, our second one. All right, so the is null method called directly on the, ser the series here, and it is a method, so we do have to have those parentheses at the very end. And the is null method works exactly as you'd expect. If it is null, it's going to return true. If it's not null, it's going to return false. So these NAN values on rows 1 and 10, uh, keep an eye on them when I execute this method. You can see 1 and 10 here have become trues because the values in those rows are indeed null. Anything that's not null is going to return false. So now that we have a Boolean series of uh, trues and falses, true where it is null, false where it is not null, we can pass this to a variable like mask. And now if I do my extraction by getting my data frame with the square brackets and putting in my Boolean series inside, there you can see I'm going to pull out all the rows where the value in the team column is null. You can see all the NANs here are populated. So I'm going to collapse this and move on. And keep in mind, as always, that you know you can combine and mix and match these methods. So you can use is null, not null, then you could pull in is in, then you can pull in another Boolean series with a direct comparison with the equality operator of double equals. You can combine and mix and match these along with the and and or uh, operators that we introduced. So these, as long as you have a Boolean series, you can always use it for the purposes of filtering. That's really the key takeaway. And these methods basically simplify the process of creating a Boolean series for us. As long as it's a Boolean series, it can be used uh, one, at a, one at a time or in combination with other Boolean series in order to filter. So now that we have is null, let's take a look at the not null method, and you can probably guess how it works as well. Let's take a look at the gender column now. Let's extract all the rows from our DF data frame where the value in the gender column is not null. So we have a valid value like male or female. So as always, we begin by extracting the column we want to work with. DF, which is our data frame, gender in square brackets. There is our column and there are our values. So now I'm going to call the not null method on this. It is a method. It does require parentheses. No arguments, though. So again, the not null method is going to work in reverse, the opposite of is null. If the value is not null, and all of these so far are not null, it's going to return true. And whenever it does run into an NAN value, like here on row 20, it's going to return uh, false, because it is false that that value is not null, it is null. So when I execute this, we'll see a bunch of trues. These represent all the valid genders in that column. And here we start running into the NANs, and those show up as uh, falses. So now I'm going to store this in a variable. Let's keep things interesting and actually give it a different name, just so we break out of that mask habit. And you can see that uh, it doesn't have to be that same variable. It can be something arbitrary, whatever you want, condition, x, y, you know, filter, whatever you want. Actually, you should probably avoid filter because that's a Python keyword. But let's do condition. Let's put it in our square brackets. And now we've extracted the rows from the data frame where the value in the gender column is not null. So now we've basically removed the uh, values with uh, null, the rows with null values in the gender column. Pretty simply, two lines of code. Imagine operating this on something like 5 million rows in a huge colossal data set. Pretty effective to do this in, in simply two lines, so very effective. So these are the complementary is null and not null methods. Call them directly on a series to return a brand new Boolean series. The is null method will give you trues if it is null and false as otherwise. The not null method will give you trues if the row value is not null, which means it's a valid string or integer or so on, and uh, the opposite as well, the not null method will give you a false if the value is null. 
So these are the two complementary methods. Feel free to play around with them and use them. And in the next lesson, we'll continue exploring different methods that we can use to return Boolean series for the purposes of filtering.